Well, hello there. Hi, you guys. Sorry, I'm putting on lotion. Hi, guys. So I asked you on Instagram what you wanted to see from me, and so many of you said you wanted to see a makeup tutorial, my everyday makeup, so that's what we're here doing today. This is about as good as I can get at makeup, guys. I'm not a makeup guru, but... I hope you guys enjoy. The only thing that really switches up in my routine is product, and that's pretty much it. So I show you everything that I use today in this video and everything I'm using right now, my techniques, what I like to do. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy, and let's get into it. Hey, Ben, you wanna say hi? So because I don't have any tanner on, my foundation is not gonna match my body, so I'm gonna have to bronze extra and just put a t-shirt on today. I was using Bite Beauty's foundation, which is one of my favorites, but I'm out. So right now I've been using the Derma Blend Flawless Creator. I've used this for years. I stopped using this for quite some time, but because I need to get a new foundation, I'm using it right now, just keeping it real. And then I mix a little bit of this with this Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. It's a primer. Here we go. I actually, this is gonna sound weird, but I literally squirt it onto my ankle. I'm not joking. And then I mix it on my leg. <laughs> and I mix it. This is about as real as we're gonna get. This is the weirdest. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys too. When I have a foundation that's not drugstore, that's mean, that means it probably was sent to me. I personally only really buy like drugstore makeup because I feel like it's I know they're different, but I feel like they get the job done. So I just stick to drugstore. Like Maybelline's my favorite. Apply it with a brush just to kind of get it spread out everywhere. And then I blend it out with a sponge. I don't know why. I just feel like that creates just a very soft, even look in my opinion. I don't use concealer. And if I did, I would put it under my eyes right now. Um, because they're kind of like purpley. So I'm gonna put just a teensy bit extra, like a very I just want to do the smallest amount, just like there we go. There we go. Next, I'm gonna put on a little lip butter. This is from Tree Hut Sugar Lips. I got this at Target, it was on sale. It doesn't show a flavor, it just says lip butter. So I'm gonna put that on my lips before we get into bronzer and highlight. But this is the Charlotte Tilbury. Film Star Bronze and Glow. I use it every single day. It's my favorite. And I take this kind of a brush. I don't know the names of these brushes. This is another thing. You guys were asking me for makeup videos on Instagram, which I find to be so funny because I do the same makeup every day. I'm not a makeup person. The makeup that I have, majority of it has just been sent to me. Honestly, just being very transparent here. And sometimes I buy makeup here and there from like Target or Ulta. Like really, that's it. Ooh, do you hear that wind? Oh my god. I just kind of tap off like this around Like this already see the difference. Okay, then we're gonna Like this oh, then I'm gonna Ooh, Under the chin bring it down. Don't worry. We'll get down into this. We'll blend this out But it's not the second but just stick with me here I don't even know what this is. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of this. I squeeze the brush to make it thinner. And I'm gonna put a little under my lip here because it creates a shadow um, to create like a powdier bottom lip. And then I'm also on my nose going to do a little underneath like this. This part kind of freaks me out every day, but I try to go from like the edge of my eyebrow down the side of my nose, but I try to like tap it because I don't want it to look intense, so. Sorry if you can't see, I'm focusing really hard. Like this. And see how I got a little too much on this side? What I do is, I take my beauty blender, I just tap it out for a little bit of highlight. I still do highlight, I just don't overload like I used to. I just kind of tap. It's very, very subtle. I don't want, I used to want the shiniest cheek of all time. Now I'm like, I don't want that. And I do a teeny tip on my nose. We will come back to this bronze. Don't worry, we'll blend it out. Just stick with me here because these are two different colors. If you want to also, I have this brush that doesn't have anything on it and sometimes I'll just kind of just very lightly go like this. And that helps me blend everything. I feel like it just makes everything a little more seamless. Maybe it doesn't, but in my mind it does. Now for my eyebrows, I used to use the NYX like what is it called? NYX Micro Brow Pencil, which I still love. But Charlotte Tilbury sent me these brow pencils and I actually really, really love these. 
This is their brow cheat. This is a micro precision brow pencil. I love it. I have this in the shade soft brown. I feel pretty lucky with the brows that I do have because my brow hairs are dark and thick, which I like. But the only thing for me is, is on the end here, like this one, I have like a missing brow spot. I have some missing hairs. So I really only like to fill in those places because I feel like naturally I could just leave this brow on its own. But this very tail end, I just want to fill in a little bit. And that's how this one is too. Just I have this like bald patch. <laughs> just don't need a whole lot of work. See what I mean? Like already difference is made. With this brow, I have like a tiny spot here that I just kind of stamp. I like create the end and then I pull inwards if that makes sense. Boom. Literally, my brows take me like two seconds. All done. I am so pale right now. It's honestly embarrassing. This is the Defining Bronzer in Caliente by Young Blood. I'm going to use this. Caliente. I don't know what kind of top I'm going to wear today. So just in case I don't wear just like oversized tee or something, I'm going to... Doing something with your left hand when you're not left-handed is... Weird, this feels very strange. See, this is looking a little more bronze, but I'm really only gonna do this area because I think I'm just gonna put on a t-shirt, but I didn't wanna have like this weird like line of makeup. Now, when I'm tan and tanned up, I don't need to bring it all the way down my chest. <laughs> I can just do my face and blend down my neck, but because of the no tanner on, like blinding people with how white I am, you gotta make it work. Finally found a waterproof mascara that I like. I actually found this through my sister Emma. This is the Maybelline Lash Lash. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. This is the this one waterproof. I love it. I bought this at a Ralph's in Laguna Beach. <laughs> I'll buy makeup at the most random grocery store I can find. I don't care. I still am really only putting mascara on my top lashes. I do on my bottom lashes sometimes. We'll do both today but I don't do that every day. This turned off on me, but you see, look at the difference. It's crazy. Okay. If I do bottom mascara, I do it last. So I do both tops first. I'm not gonna dip it back in when I do my bottom lashes. I'm just gonna gently tap my bottom lashes. I got a little bit right here, but I think we're good. Now, we're gonna take off the lip butter Sadly, my lips are the only things that I like switch up what I'm using and I really, I feel like I still haven't found my exact perfect combo, but I found colors that I really love. So favorite liners are, okay, the ultimate LA girl liner in the shade nonstop nude. This is one of my favorites of all time. Like you cannot go wrong with this. I need 10 more. I'm running out of this one. Also the Milani um, all natural lip liner. This is the color statement lip liner in 04. It's such a dream. This literally, I've used this for years. I have used this. Is this the lighter one or the darker one? Oh, this is a good one too. This is in the color. This is NYX in the shade nude. Like that one as well. I also really like the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk one for more pinkier lip liner. Like I love all of these and I will like mix and match depending on what kind of tan I have on to be honest with you, what I'm wearing, what the vibe is obviously. But pretty much my daily go-tos are these two, which is the Milani All Natural and the LA Girl Nonstop Nude. I think I'm gonna do the Milani today. I immediately like go under. And then I try to follow the sides perfectly. So I did that, right? So we lip line. And when I do it, I like line and then I lay the liner down and just fill in like that. You see what I'm saying? I sometimes just wear this on its own, but today we're going, oh, where is it? Okay, thank God. Today we're gonna add Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk now, well, I, I don't like to take a lipstick and like smear it. I like to tap. I don't know why. I just feel like it gives a prettier color to me. It just looks smoother. It's just my favorite. So I'm going to take this and just boom. Am I missing anything? Sometimes I put on a lip gloss. Sometimes I don't. Should we gloss it today? Let's gloss it. Um, I love the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in Moon. As you can tell, it's like completely out. Um, so that's great, but 
I'll just throw on this clear gloss that's from Pop from Pop Beauty called Plump It Out. It was clear, but I use it over this so often that now it has a tint. So, there we go, you guys. There you go. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's pretty simple. It's just pretty simple, easy for every day. I also wear this at nighttime too. The only time I ever really switch it up is if I do go out at nighttime or something, I might put bronzer on my eyelids as eyeshadow. I don't even like have eyeshadow in here. So I hope you enjoyed something simple, something easy, anyone can do it. Let me know what other videos you would like to see from me. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you, I probably won't do more makeup tutorials just cause I don't, this is all I know how to do guys. This is really, this is where the line stops. But if you wanna see any other type of beauty videos, let me know. Um, and yeah, I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you very soon. Bye guys.